Hey what's up guys it's me again and welcome back to my channel Metawar Apes today i am back with a new short movie the name of this short movie is what if naruto became a legendary shinobi and yeah guys it is an unscripted short movie and my own idea now before continuing this i know i haven't uploaded anything for the past 10 days but the thing is that I was busy. I already told the reasoning back on my Apollo Uchiha channel where I'm uploading every now and then. The thing is that I, while trying to upload regularly on both channels, ended up not being able to upload on a singular channel as well. Aside from working on these channels, I had other stuff to take care of in my life as well that I cannot reveal now. I will do so within a few weeks or even a month or so. Until then, I promise that what I'm working on is well huge. After everything is done and sorted out, I will reveal that to you guys. I hope you you guys forgive me for the delay, but I will try my best to every now and then upload here as well, as I do on Apollo Chiha. Just for a few months. After that, I will be regular. I promise. Anyways, enough said. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel and listen to my Apollo Chiha story as well if you haven't done so already. And yeah, without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Our story begins in Konoha Gakure no Sato. Eight years after the QB attack, as we go towards the said village Shinobi Academy where the next generation of the Shinobis and Konomichis were being trained and prepared for the Shinobi world. As now we go towards a specific class which held the next generation of the clan heads and their kids. And amongst them was also an important figure who was unaware of his own status. Naruto Uzumaki, an orphan resident of Konoha aka the Jinchuriki of the said village. As he was unaware of that fact, but some people, especially his teacher and the rest of the civilians and the council were aware of it. As now we see, Iruka was teaching about the legendary shinobis and the history of the shinobis. As Naruto had a question. What is it Naruto? If it is something stupid that I would answer, Sensei, how did the shinobis who discovered that they could do all of this find this out I'm sorry I don't get it I mean the shinobis from which it all began I mean there must have been someone who experimented and found out how to you know do the jutsus and taijutsu and all of that someone invented it right you're not wrong Naruto people have invented it but the records of such an old subject have been long since lost in the history of times Unfortunately, it is not possible to even identify who did so or what not. So, a person in given time, if tries his best, can make his own stuff? Yes, even to this date, many Kages of our village have made their own Jutsus. Such as Tobirama Senju Sama, the second Hokage, he was able to create many water style Jutsus, and not only that, he was also able to create the first stage of the Harishin Jutsu and left the notes behind which were picked up by the fourth Okage, Minato no Mikaze-sama, as he took that jutsu to a new level and was able to become the yellow flash of the Konoha Gakure no Sato. As everyone was amazed, so any person can begin from zero and create on his own. Yes, but you have to experiment and it could be a lot more dangerous, Naruto. Most of the time when shinobis do such a thing, they do under well careful eyes of people doing this on your own can be extremely dangerous and harmful for you and that is why it is not recommended for any of you to do or try such a thing i see as now we see naruto was quite intrigued by that he has been trying to get into the shinobi academy or even his own academy scroll library to get some scrolls to begin his training since the senses were trying doing his their best iruka did but all he could teach was bare minimum Naruto had to do something on his own if he wanted to survive out there in the shinobi world. And he knew, more than anything, if he had to rely on someone, it must be his own self. And he was having this thought that how the legendary shinobis reached to the top before asking this question until it hit him. They must have begun somewhere with some style and that style must have been started by someone with a given thought. He wanted to begin his own style. If nobody was willing to teach him, he will learn on his own and perfect his style. And so, he found a training ground that was abandoned and haven't been used for a long time. There were all the given equipment there, but rusted. Naruto thought he had to give due what he had and tried to do his best. As the time began to pass by, 
Iruka as well as some other power figures in the village began to notice that Naruto was going to a dangerous training ground on his own that was abandoned thanks to, well, dangerous animals from the forest of that lurking near. And was training on his own as well. So much so that the Anbus were put on watch unbeknownst to Naruto. What is the kid trying to do? This style of his, it's unique and to be honest has a lot of flaws said one of the Anbus, as the other Anbu then said, we're here to keep a watch on him. But I must say, I am impressed. Impressed by that wacky style? He would get killed out there. He's developing his own style, you idiot. Can't you see that? Soon as soon as he begins, he will... If he pushes too much focus into it, he will begin to see the flaws. And as soon as he will, he will begin to change and mend ways for them. And as Naruto was trying his do best to do, to train in his new style that he was developing and writing down on the book for the first time in the form of a log, we see that he began to see the flaws of his style. There were a lot of openings and one by one Nord began to cover them. No matter what it was, was it winter, raining, hailing or very warm, Naruto would be there on the given time after the academy to train for continuous 5-6 to six hours each and every day. He would do push-ups and sit-ups and crunches as well as climbing on the tree exercise and using the branches to do pull-ups as well to increase his muscle mass and strength. As the Anbus who were hiding themselves were quite impressed and at major times wanted to help Naruto out as well. But the elders and the Hokage who were quite intrigued and interested in this development didn't want that. They wanted the kid to figure it out on his own because he was about to do something legendary. Talking about the elders and the Hokage, we go towards the Hokage office to see that it was reading heavily, but Naruto was still training out there. <laughs> I'm glad to see that he himself has figured out that if he wishes to survive in the shinobi world, he needs strength. No matter how much I wish to help him out, in my own certain ways, I know not to interfere in the person's growth once he has begun on a journey. I must say myself that I am impressed and pleased with this development as well said Koharu, as Homura nodded. True, very true, both of you. I mean, in such a generation, you don't see it nowadays that such a young kid of such age took it upon himself to develop his own taijutsu style and whatnot. It is unfortunate that librarians don't allow him to visit the shinobi scroll libraries. I would have to do something about that, but I think that is a blessing in disguise. Even if it is the most difficult task that the kid is doing, he is trying to become best of the best in his own accord. If he is able to achieve this style and perfect it, after reading of the flaws, I think he would be at least up to par with my guy. Are you sure about that? I wouldn't say that high, Donzo. The style that he is developing. It is similar and yet quite unique and different from guys. I have seen his fist style just fistile combat which is based on gates naruto is unaware that he is on a similar stage where he will be awakened the mere power of the taijutsu users as their eyes widen as ruzan also nodded so you figured it out as well of course i did it's not that much hard to figure it out <laughs> and that is why you were the only one candidate next to me to be the third hokage talking about hokage I have a plan, Hiruzen. What? Name him the fifth Hokage, if he surpasses this test and our expectations. Alright, but for the time being we have to wait and see how things go. And that they did. As time began to pass by, Naruto's training continuously grew. And not only that, he was perfecting his Taijutsu until something happened. He was meditating until a sudden green aura began to surround him. As Naruto then let it out a yell, as the ground beneath him cracked, earth shook for a bit until Naruto was standing there. As heat was radiating from his old body, and even his chakra was. What? What is this? As Naruto with his finger barely touched the tree, causing it to crack, as Naruto was shocked. W w how did this? As Naruto then began to do his tiger sukaras in this form. It was quite painful because it was his first time that his chakra coils were overloaded, but Naruto was doing his best. In doing so, Naruto was able to, unbeknownst to him, increase his chakra pool. 
as well as his endurance. Naruto began to train in that manner again and again, as the Anbus who were witnessing this were shocked. At the same time, brought Guy in with the promise that he would keep his mouth shut, and Guy was intrigued. If anything, they were worried that the guy might blurt out something about youth and go down there to help trade Naruto or even fight with him. But he didn't. He was intrigued to see that Naruto on his own was able to achieve a new sort of power, similar to Gates, but to fourth gate, not to the first, not to the second or the third, but to the fourth. He can go straight into the fourth gate, it seems. It is similar but yet different. Fourth gate doesn't allow you to literally, with a mere touch, turn the trees into splinter. His power, his physical capability, they are way too much exceeding. That is an opponent that is filled to the brim of youth. <sighs> Thank God you didn't yell it out. Why would I? He's in complete focus. I don't wish to break his focus. As Guy's eyes narrowed, I wish to see. As Naruto was doing his taijutsu card, as we see him then do something. He took a step and disappeared as with a blitzing sound was coming with a crashing sound next as they all turned their necks as fast as they could until literally someone cracked his neck. Not badly as now we see Naruto was standing on the other side as literally the grass was ripped out from the ground because Naruto was propelling his feet to stop down as Naruto was shaking. Whoa! What the hell was that? As after that, Naruto calmed himself down as the power disappeared. As after that, we see Naruto then said, looking towards his hand, as his knuckles were literally swollen. Damn it, that hurts. I guess that is much enough for the day, huh? As now we see, time began to pass by as Naruto reached at the age of 12. By the age of 12, Naruto had grown to be the tallest kid in the class. And not only that, he had grown much more muscle mass as well. His clothes that were orange and were baggy were now tighter and shorter. So he had, thanks to the Hokage-sama, got a new clothes as well. A sleeveless orange jacket with black linings, similar to his well shipped in outfit, but only thing different here was it was sleeveless, showing his, off his arms. As Naruto wrapped around, bandages up to his elbows or, and, and knuckles so that his hands could be covered and his bruises couldn't be seen. As now we see, Naruto here has been also growing out to the length of his shoulders as well, as Naruto tied it up behind in the form of a ponytail as a few strands were left hanging on his, on the side of his, well, face. As this caused a lot of blush to appear around the class as well, as Naruto, for one, has matured and gained the eyes of not only Hinata, but also Ino, much to her dismay, as she has gone in a single instant, to, from being the fangirl of Sasuke Uchiha to the fangirl of Naruto Uzumaki. And that wasn't all. Somehow, she found out something much more disgusting. Sasuke Uchiha, of all the people, were also seen looking towards Naruto and glancing and having a few blushes on his face whenever he see him. As this was quite disturbing for the young Hyuga Harris. As this was going on, we see that back into the Hokage office, the elders having no time much more freer than now ever in their hands as same could be said for the Kage were witnessing this. Ah, the young drama being involved. But why is the young Uchiha so interested in him? That That is quite intriguing. That is because there is a hidden secret. What? I'm not gonna reveal until Sasuke, she said quote unquote, is ready to reveal. As now we see back at the Uchiha state, Sasuke arrived back at his home where he was living all by himself, as he put a hand seal and dropped the Genjutsu, as there was a picture placed here, where we see Sasuke standing to a female version of himself, and behind them were standing their older brother, Itachi, and behind him was standing their parents. On the night of the, well, attack, Sasuke was the one who was killed. She was hidden by her parents and Henji later, later told by her, her Nissan to use the Henji as Sasuke. Sasuke intervened while, his, while he was killing his parents and got stabbed too as well and in the form of an accident was killed. Itachi knew if Mita was allowed to live she would be turned into a breeding stock by the village. So 
he handed Sasuke into the form of Mito. I mean, Satsuki, as Sasuke was then replaced by Satsuki as well in a Henji form. As now we go to the present where we see, she sighed. I still don't get it why you did all of this, Nissan. Because Satsuki was hidden in the room of her parents, she has heard everything. But she still couldn't fathom why her brother was doing all of this. She couldn't forgive him for killing her brother, their little brother, and her parents and family. But she knew there must be a reason because her Nissan had tears. And not only that, she heard the conversation in which their own parents were allowing him to do so, but making sure that only the siblings survived. As it Itachi agreed even to that, because he said they were quote-unquote innocent, meaning there was a hidden mystery behind this. But much more than ever so, she had a huge crush on Naruto now, even before when he was a goofball, because he was the only brightest light. Even in the most despair, he was always showing a smile. Unlike her, he was not broken. And she quite admired that. But that all changed in the form of an infatuation and love when she saw the transformation that Naruto underwent. He was still goofy at some times, but much more calm and collective. Always working and writing down something in his own diary that he has gotten close to. To the point where Iruka even began to get annoyed by that. As now we see, Naruto wasn't day was being followed by Iruka. Having had enough of Naruto not continuously paying attention to his class, and even after being in punishment, writing something down or scribbling something onto his diary, we see that Naruto arrived into his forest, uh, near forest of that, well, training ground. As he was about to yell at him, Anbus picked him up. Whoa, what the? Calm down and keep quiet. Just watch and you will find out what you came here to see. But you cannot reveal this to anyone, orders of the Hokage. As now, we, as now, Iruka witnessed the Naruto begin to practice his own Taijutsu style. What kind of style is that? Naruto developed it. What? He has been working on it for years now. As that is when it hit him. Naruto questioning. Out of nowhere. He was questioning this one day. Back in the days in the class. I could have never thought that he was doing this all this time. Well, better, you better believe it or not. He was. As after that he witnessed Naruto going into his new state that he has developed and literally disappearing and blizzing past across the, well, whole training ground and destroying targets after targets. He was doing kunai practices as well and developing his own kunai jutsus. As after throwing the kunai, Naruto did a hand seal and said, Kunai Barrage. As kunais then turned itself into thousand kunais. But before anything else, it turned into a and with another puff of smoke, a huge kunai, as it embedded itself into the ground and created a huge crater. Kunai bomb, said Naruto, as the kunai, then I the hissing sound exploded, exploding and causing a huge crater. Phew. That was an awesome jutsu. As the shinobis who were witnessing this were quite amazed. A new kunai jutsu. And a, and a offensive one at that, from a faraway place, causing huge damage and destruction. That is a good one. It could be an S rank kunai jutsu for the first time. And that wasn't all. Naruto then brought out two kunais. As Naruto then did something. It had kanjis written down on them. What the? What is he trying to? As Naruto threw one kunai into the air and then literal golden lightning with orange accents came out. As Naruto, instead of disappearing, dashed towards and grabbed that kunai. As now we see Naruto standing on a tree, upside down. As he was holding on to that kunai that was hot. Ah, ow, ow, hot, 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 hot. As Naruto then said, I damn it, I, need, I might need some heat-resistant gloves or something because of that. As they were amazed, was that the... It's not Hirishin, it's, it's something else. He was running, running towards that kunai, but faster, faster than even the Jonin level or Kage level shinobis. That was awesome. As now we see, after that, Naruto then said, Hmm, this jutsu is amazing, but it could be better. How about this? As Naruto wrote something down, and after that, he began to draw out the scenarios. Alright, it's either I'm getting fried or I'm getting to learn this jutsu. He then threw kunais, all in the form of a circle, surrounding the area, and then holding on to one kunai, he activated the jutsu again. 
Flash tap, said Naruto, as literal golden lightning came out of his body, just like the flash, as they began to dash. As in the eyes of the own universe, there was nothing more than golden lightning tornado running in circles. As huge amount of tur wind began to gather around as well, as Naruto then stopped, as he had all kunais in his hands. This is awesome. I can continuously go as much as I want in this state. But this jutsu is very limited. I need to learn how to increase it as well. Maybe I should, well, steal some more Fuinjutsu scrolls from the Hokage office. That might help. As back in the Hokage office, we see Hiruzen and the elders were shocked. What? How was he even here? As that is when Hiruzen activated his whole senses and got alert until he noticed a blur pass by. <laughs> so he was using that ability to go in and out. What do you mean? Let's go to the library and see for ourselves. Wait. You had the whole set of the Fuinjutsu arts, right? Where is the fourth book missing? From within these seven books. Naruto just took it. I saw him leave. Even though it was a blur, I saw it. That is truly amazing. Within a blink of an eye from the other side of the village, he was able to get here and leave. That is what I was saying. But how is he able to do that? It's not the... Harishin no Jutsu that he's using. No. He's yelled something like flash tap or something. We have to talk to Naruto. I think, my friends, it is time we investigated a little bit from our little friend. I must say so as well. The jutsus that the boy has created, the kunai explosion jutsu. And not only that, this new jutsu as well. It's quite dangerous at the same time, quite powerful. If not anything, these needs to be written down in the seal scrolls of sealing. In the Uzumaki section, since it, it, he is the here. What do you guys think? Should we reveal his heritage to him? Said Koharu. Why do you say that, Koharu? I mean, think about it. The boy has proven himself all on his own without needing any sort of help from the village that he is more than capable enough of holding on to his own grounds. And not only that, he has become a chunin level shinobi, not even a genin yet, without any experience. These jutsu that he's using, if he gains experience, he'll be instant Kage level shinobi. Because even a Kage of your caliber, he reason, was not able to see him fully. Just a blur, wheezing through your eyes. That now I can fully agree with Koharu's statement. As the others were also kind of agreeing as they nodded. So, what now? We interrogate. As Naruto was brought into the Hokage office where he was coping, after being revealed that they have found out about everything and were keeping an eye on him, so, are you gonna take this away? No, Naruto. We wish for you to continue this. Continue to develop your own jutsus, because the, your mind is really creative. But we would like to give you much more resources than you have now. What are you talking about? You always wanted to know who your parents were, right? I yeah. But I have a hunch. Who? M Minato sama and... And the only Konomichi who can make sense according to my name. Kushina Uzumaki. The Red Death of Konoha. Well, you're hit on the nail, Naruto. Those two were your parents. And they left behind your heritage to be given to you when the time was right. And no more time is right than ever now. You are at least a Chunin level shinobi, all because of your own hard work. And there is nothing more then left for us to acknowledge and determine. Because not only you developed a new Taijutsu style, a few new S rank Jutsus as well. But what is that flash tap that you're using? Oh, it's it's like a stream. Wherever I threw kunais, I can, while holding on to one kunai, travel there faster than the speed of light. As much as I try, I can't keep up with my own speed because I have to throw continuously kunais and after a few minutes or so of using it, I get tired. Minutes, Naruto. With the speed of light, within mere seconds, you can get to the other side of the elemental nations as well. Yeah, I know that, but after five minutes or so continuously using it, my chakra is getting started to drain very dangerously low, and I begin to feel motion sickness as well. Well, these are the drawbacks. It is the dangerous jutsu, but you need to be careful while experimenting with it. And your heritage will be announced to the whole village as well. What? Why? You don't wish for them to know? Is it necessary? It is, for your own sake, Naruto. I guess so, then fine. As Naruto heritage was then revealed as the son of Minato no Mikaze, the fourth Tokage and Kushina Uzumaki, 
to the whole village as they were stunned, shaken to their core. As once Naruto, after all that went down, the next week returned to the academy after adjusting into his new home, his family home, as well as finding out that his parents loved him to that because he saw that there was an unfinished decorated room with a crib in it, indicating that it was his room because there was also a sign of fish cake there, meaning that it was indication to him. His name Naruto. As Naruto wiped his tears and was happy until he found his father's crafting lab where he crafted his kunais, his seals and his jutsus and found out about the Rasengan and the others. Following the steps, Naruto was able to master the incompleted version of Rasengan and after using the chakra paper, discovering that he had earth style elemental jutsu as well as water style and wind style, Naruto began to work on these three styles. He became Water Tsunami Rasengan, Rasen Shuriken, as well as the Earth Bomb Rasengan, made out of a huge crater of Earth. These three forms and variants of Rasengans were created and instantly were S plus ranked jutsus because of their destructive capabilities. Ras from Rasen Shuriken and Tsunami Rasengan were the only jutsus that were much more destructive than the Earth Bomb Rasengan, but still, the three of them were quite dangerous and the Kages and the council were quite impressed and after the it was revealed to the whole council Naruto's abilities and capabilities they were impressed as well. On his own Naruto was able to fulfill and follow the footsteps of his father's legacy and create brand new jutsus from scratch so much so that the clan heads were quite impressed at the same time shocked that a kid of Naruto's caliber was able to do that when he put his mind into it. They have been following their traditional jutsus that have been passed down from generations on generations. Never in a million years they thought that they would be more than ever inspired to create their own jutsus. Many tried and failed. Some even succeeded but to some extent. But no one could come close to what Naruto was already able to achieve. And finally we have another time skip where we see Naruto at the age of 15. It has been one and a half years since Naruto began his shinobi journey with Team 7. Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruno, as well as Kakashi Hatake. They went to the Land of Waves mission after completing their D-Ranks. Turned out their first C-Rank was much more than that, an A-Rank mission. And there, Naruto defeated not only Taz Zabuza, but also had a heart-to-heart -heart with Haku, who died there unfortunately as well. And after defeating Gato once and for all with his newfound abilities, they returned back to Konoha. There, they were told about the Chunin exams. Naruto, thanks to his, well, newfound abilities that he developed on his own, was able to excel alongside his teammates through the first and the second stage, which was the Forest of Death. Unfortunately, there, Naruto discovered a secret about Sasuke, unbeknownst to her, that he was actually a she, Satsuki. Well, in nighttime, while she was taking a bath, Naruto also went out for taking a leak, and that is when he discovered this, and Satsuki was ready to kill him, but couldn't because she was crying while hugging his chest and told him about her feelings. As Naruto passed out for the first time in his life after finding out about this, while Hokage was keeping an eye close on Naruto and his team, they were happy with this turns of event while the elders had a jaw-dropping, shocked, a full expression. You, you knew. We thought the daughter was dead, but not the son. It was in reverse. Sasuke, unfortunately, in the accident died at the hands of Itachi. His plan was to save both of them, but he died. Satsuki, to save him, he put it her in a genjutsu, told her about the henji, and she had to live on as her brother. But what's this in her, in her infatuation with Naruto? Back in the day, Naruto saved her. Saved her from a child boar that attacked her when she got separated. He got injured badly, but he was happy that he was at least able to save and make a new friend. He forgot, might have forgotten about that, but he, but she still remembers. Huh. You know where this is going, right? Wait, who was that? Said Donzo as he pointed towards the orb to see that two eyes, which were white and had veins popping out from the sides, were glaring while clenching the tree tightly turn, until it turns into splinter at the scene. That's Hinata Yuga, Naruto's, I mean, Naruto's admirer. She 
is hellbent on making Naruto's her, but she, thanks to her lack of confidence, couldn't make herself up to do that. Oh boy. What about Eno? Why is she clutching onto a tissue? Oh no. We know where this thing is going, right? Yep, time to put a CRA in action. But that is an old law, and Naruto is the lone survivor of the Uzumaki and Namikaze clan. And thanks to his new form Jutsu Zan abilities that he has to pass down in his clan, he must play, bring CRA into an action. Before you say anything, I will talk to Daimyo myself and he will agree. Damn it. Fine, we will talk about this later and tell this to Naruto. For the time being, just sit back and let the kids enjoy their life. As after that, they found out the next day that while they were turning to the center part of the village, they were encountered by none other than Orochimaru. Thanks to Naruto's abilities that took Orochimaru by surprise, Orochimaru had to retreat back for the time being. Naruto saved both Satsuki and Sakura in just a nick of time while they arrived at the center part of the tower. As Naruto asked Satsuki, who was in Sasuke Street, Are you okay? As Sakura was disgusted by that. Take your hands away from Sasuke-kun, Naruto. You dumb idiot. As Sasuke then said, he was just asking if I was fine, Sakura. We are teammates. It has to happen at some point. And Sakura was just shocked. Why was Sasuke agreeing to Naruto and backing him up of all the people? I I see. As after that, the preliminary rounds happened in which Naruto beat the crap out of Kiba. But not to that extent because he was just bragging, that's all. And after doing so, everyone cheered. And that is when something interesting happened. And then amongst the crowd was a few people who were wearing the same robes that Naruto caught the eye off. And Naruto was quite shocked to find out that they were planning to use some genjutsu because of the handsets that they were doing. Immediately using his flash up technique, Naruto immediately turned into a blur of lightning as he appeared and neck chopped each and every one of them, knocking all of them out to the point that they were unconscious and bringing them into the center heart of the hall. These people, they were going to cast a genjutsu. Everyone must evacuate instantly as the Hokages and the Anbus arrived and arrested the, well, Akatsuki. As amongst them was Itachi as well as Chagara suppressors were placed on all of them. As that is when we see that Naruto was in the eyes of people a hero like his father. Because he stopped a tragedy before it even could struck. Because after interrogation thoroughly it was revealed that their plan was to steal the bijus that were there. Because not only Kona but the other villages were also there. And their Kages were also impressed by the thinking capability of such a young Genin. So much so that all of them voted that Naruto should be made a Chunin, if not anything else. But more than that, it was decided, since Konoha Crush and Orochimaru's plan was foiled, that Naruto needs to be made a Kage in the eyes of Konoha, because of his high-level thinking and all that. And after being placed in the seat of that, Naruto, for the next coming year, worked tirelessly, well, with heavily placed chakra suppressors on each and every one of the Akatsuki members, they were placed in underground cell levels until Naruto and the others were extracting bit by bit the information thanks to Inuichis and the other interrogators and discovered the Moon Eye plan. As Naruto once in the Kage Summit revealed this, everyone was shocked. So there is a being known as Tentails that is sealed by the sage. Such a power cannot be allowed to be awoken. With all the respect to all of you Kages, who are much more senior and, as well as have more experience than me. I must humbly say that we must work in, well, together, so that we can prevent this from happening and strengthen our villages, defenses as well as financially as well. By doing so, what will benefit in favors of Konoha from this? We all will benefit benefits from this. Sharing resources as well as instead of attacking each other's routes of exchange, allowing them to roam freely from one point to other so that more portals can be opened. We all can enjoy a leisureful life and train perfectly fine. We have to make sure that Kaguya Otsutsuki is never freed. Turns out her will, the Zetsu, was much more lenient in revealing that, at least the white side. The black side is filled with darkness and con direct connected to, to her. We have to get, her er get it eradicated, said Mei Terumi. The Kirigakure is Kage, the Mizukage. And as for the other Kages, they also nodded to that. What are you gonna do about this kid? Listen, Onikisama, I know you and I have never seen eye to eye, or my parents didn't have. But please, 
for the sake of our people, we have to put aside our differences and work together. As Oniki was quiet, Naruto said this. Fine, kid. I will. It is high time I let go of that hatred that I have been holding on to. It has already taken too much from me. I apologize for your loss, but you know that. I know it wasn't you. I don't hold anything against you. Your father is already dead, which I am satisfied with more than enough. I see. So what now? We work to perfect this world. As this was going on, down there, thanks to the help of Akatsuki, I mean Kaguya, Zatsu was not killed, but also overpowering the suppressors and destroying them one by one. As time began to pass by, now we go to the present. Naruto has reached at the age of 15, and a shinobi alliance with all of the rest of the elemental nation has been created. Naruto, as in canon, has helped out the other villages, such as the Snow Country, reaching, making Kyoki the daimyo again, as well as not only that, working to establish deals with the vegetable country and even the other countries as well. Orochimaru was found out alongside his basis and eradicated paying for his crimes. Tsunade was brought in back. Naruto, with his talk jutsu abilities, was able to bring her to his side, making her his advisor, alongside with Jiraiya, one of his legendary sonnets as well. Naruto was training with both of them as well, as they were quite impressed and shocked by his capabilities, as Naruto, thanks to Tsunade being there, was developing more and more medical techniques that were never seen or heard before, to the point that they were advancing at a faster and terrifying drastic rate. On the other side, Naruto was also helping out giving minor medical treatment scrolls as well as other jutsus to the other villages and exchanging with them, allowing a better relationship to flow. As the next generation of their Kages were prepared, they were already friends with Naruto. As the previous generation could see that, Naruto has built himself strong allies. Allies within them. Their people also loved him as much as their own Kages were loved by the people. As this was more than enough said, because Iwa too has embraced Naruto, because thanks to his willingness and their Kage's willingness to work putting aside his ego, they were in a place where they had better situations and living conditions now, and were getting much more stronger than ever. But all hell broke loose when Naruto reached at the age of 16. Kaguya, through a new technique that was developed by in prison by Zetsu and Kaguya herself, exchanged places with Zetsu while absorbing the others, and Kaguya was freed. And within Konoha, the destruction began to ensue, until she disappeared. A Kage summit was called immediately, and now to reveal what has transpired. The Kages obviously were scared and shocked that Kaguya was free, but how? As that is when they found out that, thanks to Itachi, who has they switched with his clone, Itachi's clone poofed and the memories came that Itachi and the others were absorbed, or Itachi's clone was, by Zetsu, who then exchanged himself with his mother. This is not good. Not good one bit. What are we gonna do? We have a literal goddess at our backs, with a huge target painted on it. We had to kill- we, we should have killed them. We tried our best. Your shinobis did so as well. In the end, every method failed. Turns out it was Kaguya who was protecting him. What are we gonna do now, since she's free? Nothing. I am will be the one who will be doing things. I, Kagiya Suzuki, declare the 4th Great Elemental Nation War, and I will be taking my chakra away after beating you. As the atmosphere was distressing, but just one night before, the sage came into the memories of Naruto, and Satsuki as well, and gave them the yin and the yang seal, to seal away his mother. As Naruto and the others went into the, well, war, but this time Naruto had already informed them beforehand, and they all had a plan. And this time, following according to plan, they led Kage to a certain place where, using the adamantium chains of the Uzumaki's Naruto trapped her. Using the both hand seals, Kaguya was once again sealed. And doing so, Naruto and the others cheered as Kaguya was sealed away for good. But the seal was broken instantly as Kaguya was about to break free. But using the ultimate power of the sage, using the sun and the moon seal once more, but this time with almost all of their chakra, we see that. Naruto was able to seal alongside with Satsuki, Kaguya, but Kaguya was still fighting back trying to break free until two moon seals appeared on the palms of Hinata Yuga because she was the closest heiress to, well, her ancestors on the moon. While on the other side, the sage gave 
the sun seal to Inoha's bell. As she, using these abilities, jumped in as to keep Kaguya tame thanks to her mind transfer jutsu while the others were trying their best to seal her way. And in the end, thanks to all of their involvement, Kaguya Tsuzuki was once again sealed, but not before in order to place huge seal matrices so that she couldn't break free and send it hovering above into the sky. Once and for all, as Naruto and Satsuki and the others were on the ground, while the rest of the elemental nation cheered as the Zetsu army and Kaguya were defeated once and for all. And after the huge celebration, Naruto was crowned as the hero and savior of the whole world, alongside with Satsuki Uchiha and Hinata Yuga as well as Ino Yamanaka because of their bravery. But all that changed when the fifth Okage found out about his arranged marriage match between them. Thanks to the Daimyo's approval of all of, and uh, the approval of all the Kages, the CRA was placed, and these three were being chosen as his wives. Naruto, for the second time, passed out after finding out about that. As while this was going on, we see deep in the seal, QB smirked, knowing fully well that he was within safe hands. It will take a long time for them to develop a relationship, but Naruto has proven that he didn't need it, even an ounce of his chakra, to defeat the Rabbit Goddess and save the whole world as well. And seeing this, Naruto, after having a huge talk and chatting continuously for more than years with Kurama and getting on name basis, were able to pass a law where the beaches were freed, as the Jinchurikis were even saved as well. Some Jinchurikis were seen, well, completely differently as they were before because they were hated. But as for most, the beaches were now sacred and respected now by the whole elemental nation as they should have been from the beginning. It was all thanks, thankfully done by Naruto, the fifth Hokage, the most legendary Hokage ever known to the whole elemental nation, becoming a legend in his own right. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this short movie off, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you like the content of this channel, as this is it for the day. Peace.